All right, what's good YouTube? So today I am going to be going over some Pokemon card purchases that I have made recently. I believe I have nine graded cards, two raw cards. Most of this stuff was bought from eBay. The first one I'm gonna show is actually my first ever whatnot purchase. So yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's show you guys what I got. So yeah, I'll just show the two raw cards that I picked up recently. The first one is gonna be this Primal Kyogre EX along with this base set Blastoise. So um, you're probably not gonna believe me when I tell you how much I paid for this. Um, it does have an issue up on this on this corner, top right corner. But other than that, for like a 20 plus year old card, like the edges do have some whitening, but I've seen much, much worse. And uh, yeah, I paid 30 bucks for this. So thought that was a crazy steal. I think this should be $50 minimum in my opinion, but 30 bucks from whatnot and uh, 15 for this Primal Kyogre, which I thought, I didn't check comps at the time. I, I thought 15 was, was fair, but yeah, that, I got those two. And then I also got this. This is all from the same seller, um, CGC9 uh, Illustrator Charizard. So I do have another one of these. It's actually a little bit better if you look at the subgrades, the the one I already had. But um, I just really like this card, you know, you, if you've ever heard the saying, buy what you like, you know. That's what this was, basically. I just really think this card is awesome. I need to get a PSA 10 copy, but uh, yeah. So, got these three cards from the same seller. Here is his business card, Old School Pokemon. I have done business with him before. I've met him in person. Really cool dude. I'll drop his links below. Um, he, he has a YouTube, eBay, all that good stuff. So I'll be sure to add those links. But yeah, I got I got the Charizard for like 35. So it was like 35, 15, and 30. It was under a hundred bucks for these for these three. So I thought that was a really good deal. And uh yeah, so that is the first pick up. And then up next. So this is the last of the CGC cards that, I'm the, that I picked up, but I went ahead and just grabbed like every variant of the Vivid Voltage Charizard in a CGC 9. So this first one is the Theme Deck Hollow. I don't know if you can see the, the cracked ice hollow pattern in there, but that's what that one is. This is the Reverse Hollow, and then this is just the non hollow. So, yeah, the reason why I got CGC is because it was much cheaper to get these in, in CGC 9 versus PSA 9. I think the non holo was like under 20 bucks, which was <laughs> super cheap. This one was like 28 plus 3 shipping, and then this one, I believe it was like 40. Um, I got these two from the same person right here, and I got, I got another business card, Catch Em All Collectibles. He has a YouTube as well. Um, I'll drop that link below as well really cool dude like I said I got these two this was from a separate seller but I got these two from him and then I got some more stuff I think um pretty much well I'll just show the these were for from him as well so I got the team up PSA 9 cracked ice Charizard this is another theme deck hollow um, I have the PSA 10 non hollow team up Charizard so Wanted to add this one. Um, I picked up a lot of modern graded Charizards, if you haven't noticed, but I just didn't have them slabbed up quite yet, and I figured uh, might as well start doing that because these were all reasonably priced. I don't, I didn't spend um, over a hundred dollars on anything I'm going to show in today's video, so keep that in mind. And then lastly, the Detective Pikachu. So yeah, like I said, I got these five cards from Catch 'Em All Collectibles. So. Uh, very, very awesome to be able to add a ton of Charizard, graded Charizards, to the collection that I didn't have. Um, filling filling out holes in the collection. But uh, up next, I got the Cosmic Eclipse PSA 9. Um, I was going to get the 10 of this because it's it's really cheap, but then this 9 popped up for like 30 bucks on eBay, and I just went ahead and... Went ahead and did it. Like I said, this stuff is for my personal collection, and the difference between a 9 and a 10 isn't much. I get just as much satisfaction from owning the 9 as I do the 10. So, um, yeah, that's why I get 9s, because same thing, but cheaper, basically. Um, and then the last card of this video is probably my 
favorite pickup. It's the Cosmic Eclipse. This one is the full art, though. So, really like this card. I gotta get the rainbow now because I got the, the regular GX, the full art. Now I need that that rainbow rare. But, yeah, I just really like the, the red, you know, the red color in this car. I think it's awesome. And, yeah, this one, this was the most expensive uh, card out of the whole the whole bunch. I uh, believe it was, like, 80 which I might have overpaid on it, honestly, but it's all good. Like I said, this is PC stuff, and uh, I don't mind paying up a little bit on personal collection. But, yeah, so uh, that is this, uh, I was going to say weeks, but it's been more than a few weeks of me picking up stuff. This is probably the last month's worth of pickups. Just a bunch of modern Charizards, uh, stuff that I think is cool, stuff that I enjoy collecting. And, you know, that's that's a pretty important thing if you want to do this hobby. Collect what you like, and uh, it's always a ton of fun when you do that. So, yeah, let me know what y'all think of my recent pickups. And uh, that's going to wrap this video up. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.